Hello, what's up everyone? And welcome back to another episode of my VRB podcast. And I believe um, everything happens for a reason. So, uh, first of all, I wanted to shout out to 625 Special Band uh, for the jam night last night. Uh, to Dave, uh, thank you for letting me join you guys. And it was awesome. And the people in Phoenix uh, Bar in Romsey as well. Um, awesome crowd and awesome staff. So yeah, really, really had a nice evening last night. Um, right, um, going back to the podcast, uh, there's lots of requests, questions, so Q&A. And uh, this started because of Arnav, who requested um, a heavy metal patch. And then he asked me if I can do a video tutorial to explain things so that uh, he can be more independent uh, in making his own patches. So, last night was a eureka moment for me because... I went there, I was using this guitar, I brought my Zoom G14 because it's smaller and portable. Initially, Ali uh, was the one who uh, volunteered to let me use his amp, even his gear, he, he was uh, offering it. Um, so his amp got a pedal, I forgot to ask uh, his amp actually, but um, it looks like he's got an orange cab, but I'm not re really sure if it's uh, orange, uh, the, the brand. And then when I was called to join them on stage, um, I, well, I was um, directed to Paul and he's using uh, Vox. And I thought it was AC30 because uh, it looks massive, um, but it it's actually... AC15 combo, so Vox AC15, really, really awesome tone from that uh, amp. So it brings me to this podcast on getting or making your own patch, where the very basic when I create patches is just guitar and amp, that's all. So that's exactly what happened last night, because for some reason, when I'm using my Zoom G14, the sound, I think it's got to do with being digital and I got my own reverb setting on my multi-effects pedal. The Vox AC15 got its own reverb. So it's like looping, it's, it's becoming echoey, too echoey. And I had to do last night just the bypass mode of my Zoom G14 where I'm using my tuner as well before I start and then when I use my reverb there that's sort of my lead stuff my lead tone because when I move to like my crunch and my lead tone it's really like a super echoey uh, it's like I couldn't play but it did work with um, another brick in the wall when I did the solo there sounded more like uh, Gilmore because of that it it uh, replicate the delay instead of just reverb so yeah that that's what happened again <laughs> sidetrack again so the purpose of this podcast is to explain that you can you can use just an amp sim from your zoom uh g1x on or zoom g14 to um replicate the actual amp so even though we use Vox last night, I think we're going to talk about my most successful patch, which is my Slash uh, patch, so Guns N' Roses. And we did jam uh, Sweet Child of Mine last night. I uh, volunteered to join in as well. Uh, there was a drummer, a really, really good drummer. I forgot to ask his name. Uh, two to be exact, there's another one. That's uh, called Tom, and uh, he was the first one I jammed with uh, last night when I joined the, the house band. And then when we did like a second round jam, uh, another guitarist joined. I forgot forgot his name. He's really really good. He played bass. He played and back again to the guitars. Really awesome. 
Then yeah, we played um, Sweet Child of Mine. Uh, so uh, it's relatable to our podcast where we're gonna be discussing my slash patch. I know this is gonna be a long story, long podcast because of sidetrack of my hype from last night's event. Uh, right. What I did was last night, um, the Vox AC15 was already set up. And each time I'm doing my lead, I just crank up the volume. This one. And then back to like number two or three. Uh, like almost no volume at all. And then I just slightly go up. And then that's how it sounded. But it's more of a lead tone actually. So here. It's, it's like this one. Um, I lower my volume here. And it's cleaner, isn't it? And then I crank it up. That's exactly what's happening last night. So I'm not stepping on any pedal. It's more with just the volume knob. So when I'm doing rhythm last night, the volume is all the way down. And then when I do lead, That's like just a clean tone, but with a bit of drive, and it's just the amp. Uh, there's nothing there, uh, because his amp, uh, Paul's amp, got reverb already. And when I asked him, because he's got an awesome tone, he was using a Fender, Fender Strat, and it's white, and uh, like vintage white, yeah, that's it. And he said it's from like uh, Japan, uh, Japan made... Um, um, strat and awesome tone so he, he just said to me no everything's just cranked up so he's just putting everything up 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 uh, apart from probably from the reverb uh, it's not all the way up and there's probably one more like uh, master volume wasn't probably up but the rest like probably gain tone knobs maybe he, he mix it a bit but the gain the the drive channel uh, probably they're all up and it's amazing that the tone that's coming out from that ac15 is so amazing uh so that's that's what the idea is uh, i i normally discuss this uh, on previous videos that i uh it's like the dynamic of just the guitar and the amp and using the volume knob you can already uh, jam or do gigs with just your amp and the volume knob from here when you dr uh, when you crank up the volume so yeah uh right um we will shift and i'll i'll sort of discuss to you the the effects so that um it will be more clearer but you hear the sound you already observed the dynamic where just the volume knob from the guitar and you can you can play or jam Right, on here, uh, oh, another thing, there was a question or like a comment about the chorus effects. So it's perfect because this one got the chorus effects at the moment. So let's um, move away now from the jam last night and focus on my Zoom G1X on from the comments about chorus effects and then how to set up your own uh, patch. So in here, this is my slash chorus. I put it as slash chorus, but it's like a clean tone. And I'm using the MS-1959, which is like a Marshall copy or uh, amp sim. And the setting here, the gain is 30, tube 30. So it's like uh, similar to what I used last night, which is a tube amp, but a uh, dif different brand. Both uh, British brands. Uh, this one's Marshall. I'm uh, a copy of Marshall. And last night I used the Vox uh, AC15. So tube um, 30, level 115, treble 50, mid 50, bass 50. 
and then presence 50 cabinet ms1959 4 by 12 and output line so that's the amp and then obviously we have uh, the reverb so uh, this one looks like a separate whole reverb and you, you got a famous uh, whole reverb isn't it the hall of fame um but um last night it was the built-in reverb from the amp so setting here decay is um 10 and then tone 5 mix 46 spread 49 level 130 tail off so that's our reverb and as i said you can use the amps reverb or a pedal okay and the last bit uh, stereo chorus so obviously if your amp got built in chorus it's fine if you got your own chorus pedal and then that's fine as well in our case we're using the zoom juanex on so we are using the stereo chorus from zoom juanex on so depth um 90 pardon me guys i couldn't no 80 i can't see it properly it's got to do with the uh another camera that's why it's put there and obviously my my mic is here so depth uh, 90 rate 30 mix 60 tone 7 and level 100 so we just one uh patch like that and just uh, volume i also crank up the volume from the mixer so that when i do clean uh it's not too low the volume is not too low and then obviously the lead stuff i just put the tone oh i just put the volume all the way up and that's it that's the lead stuff already and we've got our chorus there uh, with the chorus settings uh, sometimes uh it's good to turn off other effects or turn off your amp sims uh, gain level or drive uh, channel and just listen to your chorus and then if you're happy with that try and put your your drive channel or your overdrive or distortion and listen again if it's not too um the mix is not too too much so it's a trial and error i i don't have like principles or um lessons to this one where oh you need to do this and you need to do that that's just my my style so i listen to the chorus first if i'm happy mix them together and then if it works then that's it i don't know if i got the picture yeah i just remembered the photo i mean of uh amp just bear with me and once i find the picture I'll show it to you. I managed to find it. So that's the Vox that I used last night. The Vox Amp Combo AC15. And then the one that we are using for Slash is MS1959. Um, hopefully I got it. yes i got it this is the marshall head which is ms 1959 so i labeled that the back that's why um i forgot it's not a combo you need to have your um what do you call this one uh, you need to have your cabinet so that's the amp head ms 1959 the one that we use for or slash patch um right if we try and listen to the sound again right this is the sound and if we turn off the amp it's just the chorus and then with the amp that's the chorus if we turn off the chorus that's it and then with the chorus 
right so i hope you like this um uh, episode of my vrb podcast and i hope you learned something especially that you can use just an amp and with just your guitar volume knob and then for for those who are asking about chorus and that's it guys thank you so much for being with me i know i was like all over the place with this uh episode but uh i think i've delivered what i wanted to emphasize and for that uh, chorus effects that um was requested so i incorporated it on this episode and thank you for being with me and see you again soon for another podcast q a uh, or if i wanted to discuss or emphasize something and uh, we will tackle it in my next episode and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and press that notification bell so you get notified each time i'm posting another video thank you so much god bless bye